we spoke about a critical systems engineering artefact that we called the system requirement specification, but we didn't talk about what the structure of one of those might look like. Your task in this extension exercise is to do some research on systems engineering standards, texts and online sources to try to determine the typical structure and content requirements of the system requirements spec. Once you think you've found some reasonable information, you're required to develop a template for a system requirement specification for our house. This is to include section headings and explanations of the section content. Note that when you're doing this research, be aware that different names will be used by different organisations for this artefact. For example, some will call it simply a system specification, whilst some might call it a functional specification or a function and performance specification. One possible answer to this question, and the source I often use as a template, is called the system slash subsystem specification, or simply triple S, that's attached to a very famous US military standard called MIL Standard 498. You need to note that this is a software development standard, but the triple S template does provide a useful starting point when developing a system requirement spec for pretty much any type of system. If you did not come across this source in your research, I highly recommend that you take a look at it.